This is Filmwise from Black Belt Dragon. <laughs> So, the movie Whiplash. A lot of people have been talking about this movie, you know, last year. I'm a little bit late. The movie is about a uh, character named Andrew, played by Miles Teller, who um, joins a fictional um, college, uh, uh, musical college. So, what happens? He meets this, um, what it says in the movie, a professional um, musical teacher, played by J.K. Simmons, who is named Terence Fletcher. Um, while he's, you know, um, he somehow ends up going to his class and he's accepted as one of the greats, but then during parts of the movie, like, J.K. Simmons, like, goes for this uh, incredible performance where he just goes over the top. He's crazy. He, like, pushes his students to the limit. It's just insane. So now, um, Andrew has to figure out a way to try to see if he can push that limit and see how far he can go. Like, literally, he, he literally has to choose between his life or he has to choose between his dreams. Okay, now let me talk about the good aspects, the good stuff about this movie. Now, what I like about this movie is that the performance is incredible. It's amazing. Amazing performance by, you know, the main cast. You know, Miles Teller is, like, amazing. Uh, J.K. Simmons, he's incredible in this role. As well as the other people in the movie, like, you know, they're, they're all great performances. And the music in the movie happens to be amazing as well. Um, I like how, you know, it stays to the rhythm in the movie. Every time, you know, the students are trying to, like, you know, follow the rhythm in the movie, it's just, you know, it keeps going. It keeps going, the rhythm, and it's, it's just insane. Um, the story in the movie, now I do have a little bit of a problem with this. During like the, the beginning and the middle of the movie, I kind of predicted every single moment in that movie. I just felt like, you know, when I was watching it, I was just, okay, this is the part where the teacher gets angry. This is the part where he keeps repeating the lines over and over again. This is the scene where he just has to tell his feelings and not, you know, worry about everything. Like all of that stuff. It's just, it was just like, my gosh, like, you know, I'm just getting tired of seeing this. But when the movie reached uh, the ending, and which is the third part, the third act, I was just, wow. I have never seen this. I have never seen this before. Like, it, it kind of caught me off guard. Like, I was just, you know, just watching the movie, expecting what I was expecting until, like, it twist. Like, there is a big twist in the ending of the movie, and that pretty much saves the movie from being, you know, uh, being predictable. That, the ending, the third act, you know, I like that a lot. Now, are there anything I don't like about this movie? Yes, there is. There is the bad aspects. What I don't like is that this teacher... You know, I know that J.K. Simmons is doing a, a wonderful job, but I just felt that this teacher, his motivations in the movie, I just felt weren't, ex you know, done well. Like, at one point, he feels like he's a good guy, and then the other point, he feels like he's a bad person. He's literally just, you know, just doing it on purpose. I just felt that the character, like, went back and forth, back and forth where he's just becoming nice, then he becomes mean again, and then he becomes nice, and, like, it, he becomes mean again. We do find out in, like, in the end of the movie what he's trying to accomplish. He's just, you know, trying to find the next best thing. He's just pushing the limits of his students, but he's also just, he's a person. He's just doing his best. He just does what he loves. He loves music. I can understand that, but I just felt it, uh, it kind of wasn't done done well for my taste. I just didn't like that. Uh, but, you know, I guess that could be my only complaint. Though, I do have to say, even for all the good stuff I have said about this movie, I, I just have to put the point that, you know, it is still a little predictable, and I was expecting more out of this film, but, you know, I felt like my time wasn't wasted. It, you know, I felt that my time was, you know, I felt like every moment was like, good, 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 you know, at least they did it well. That is what I like. My final verdict, 
I say that it's a wonderful film to go see. It's a little bit predictable because if you've seen stuff like this before, you're obviously not going to enjoy that part even if it's done well, but the ending does save the movie. Um, I can tell you that this is an above average film. I'm going to give it a C+. Okay, that is my review. Black Bell Dragon signing out, and I will see you on my next film-wise.